Welcome to CED Mo's Boz online video series. Today we're going to show you how to restore runtime and archive files uh, for Factory Talk View ME. Uh, so hello, uh, today we're going to cover um, how to upload a runtime file from a panel view plus. In this case we're going to use a panel view plus six, but this will also work with a panel view plus seven. Uh, how we can restore that application um, and then also how we can delete it and archive it uh, through the application manager. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload a project off an existing project off of a panel view, a running panel view here. So we're going to come down to our Rockwell software and we're going to use this ME transfer utility. Many of you used this before. Uh, this is the same utility that you would use to um, upload or download a project to a panel view as well. In this case, the case though, we're going to upload from a panel view. Um, so let's go down into our Ethernet here and find our panel view plus. Here it is. Click on that, and then we're going to click on the source file. So this is going to go out, talk to the panel view, tell us what's inside. So there's our MER, and we're just going to throw this right on my desktop. And upload. So that's going to upload the file right to my desktop. And you see it's going to upload it in this file form. It's MER, that means ME runtime. So it's b before, I, pre, I believe, 6.1 of uh, Studio ME, um, you would not be able to do anything with this file. Um, you wouldn't, we weren't able to open it. Um, if you didn't have an original archive or the original application file, you were kind of stuck. But they did change that. So now what we can do with this is we could run this uh, to test it on our computer, but we want to restore it so we can make edits. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Act, or, uh, application manager, which is down here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right here, Factory Talk ME Application Manager. Let that load up. So here's all the things we can do with our ME applications. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to restore a runtime application. You can also see you can restore a legacy project, so that would be an old pa panel view standard project. You re can restore an application from an archive, which we'll also do. You can create an archive, you can delete an application, so some of you may or may not know that you can't just go into a file folder, right click and hit delete on an ME application. It won't go anywhere. You need to delete it through here. We can copy an application or re re rename. So anything you do with a file here is something you would normally just right click on the file folder in Windows and do, whether it's delete it or rename it, copy it. You can't do any of that with uh, ME applications. You have to use the application manager. So in this case, we're going to use restore runtime application. And let's go and find it on our desktop. There it is. And if there was a password when it was archived, we would enter that here. So we'll hit next. You can change the name here. If you want to restore it as a different name, you can do that. We're going to go hit that. And that is, that's going to run for a minute or so as it restores everything. Um, so in this, for the sake of time, I'll just go ahead and pause the video until it's finished. OK, so it finished. And this screen pops back up. Uh, since we're done with this, we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. We're not doing anything else with it. But now, when we come in and open our Factory Talk Studio, we select Machine Edition. We can see our rich safety demo is right here. So that did work. We could open it, um, edit the application, then recreate the runtime file and download to the panel view, and our changes would be taking place. Um, but we're, we already can cover that in other videos. This video, we're just working with the application manager. So now what I'd like to show you is how we can create an archive of that using the same way. So let's go ahead and open up our application manager again. And right here, we're going to do backup an application. So in this case, 
What this is going to do is create a simple archive file that would you could use to email to customers or colleagues, um, and then they can restore it and edit the application on their computer. Um, so in this case, we're going to back it up. We're going to select our Rich Safety demo and hit Next. We're going to go ahead and put it in this default location. And then here is where you can put a password in um, to encrypt it so that not just anybody can open it. We're going to uncheck that. So when they restore it, you saw before we would have had to put a password in. That's where that would go. So now we're creating an archive file. Again, this will run for just a minute. It's a little, it takes a little less time than uh, restoring from a runtime file, but it still will run for a minute or so. See, not quite as long. So then we created our backup. Now, one other thing I'd like to show you before we show you what we can do with that backup file folder is we're gonna delete this application. So if we did, we were done with it, it's a year or so later, whatever, we have our archive, we don't need to keep it in our current applications. We can go ahead and take it out and save the memory on our hard drive. So let's click it. And there, it's deleted. It was just that easy, right? Um, so now if we were to open up Studio, no longer in our list of applications. So, but now we panic. We don't have our runtime file anymore. Say that's gone. I just deleted it. <laughs> so now we can, but we still have that archive file. That archive file can still be used to restore, and this is how we did things before we were able to restore MER files, the runtime files we can restore our backup files. And so it's always a good idea, anytime you have an ME application, when you're finished starting up the machine, go ahead and create a backup of it so that you have it. So now we're going to restore an application. We'll go right to our default location where our archives would be. We're gonna hit this. So this is something new here. You may notice this, if you're running version 11 or higher, it will show you what the application version is. This is something new that they've just added. So now we know that we're restoring uh, an application of version 11. So if you're running version 10 or something older pre-version 11, it's gonna tell you, hey, you can't restore this. You'd have to update your software. Finish. And again, it's gonna restore it. So then once this is finished running, we could go back into our factory talk view ME, Select it, rich safety demo would be there and ready for us to edit and then again create a runtime file and send it down to the panel view. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll cover that here in just a second. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so once you've had a project restored, whether it be from a runtime application or an archive, most likely the first thing you're gonna need to do, everything would have come in correctly, usually except for the communication setup. You do have to come back in here and reestablish this um, communication setup, um, at least for your local use. You'll see that if once you open this, there's no, it's not pointing to any um, um, controllers for its info. So you really will have to do that, but that's it. You should be able to go after that. So now once you've come in, you made your changes to your displays, whatever, added a couple more, whatever it is you need to do. Now you wanna save that runtime application again. You come under application and go create runtime. And then this is what I wanted to show you is that underneath the save type as, you can see I have version 11 installed on here, but say your panel view only has um, firmware 8.1, then you would wanna create an 8.1 application, save it and download it to the, to the panel view. So you do wanna match the runtime file to the firmware that is on the panel view. So then you, again, you could create the runtime file, go back to our transfer utility, which we can open from up here, and then we would instead download to the, to the panel view instead of uploading from it. So that's all there is. Uh, if there's any questions, let us know. Once again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply 
on YouTube or visiting www.mosba.com media. Thanks again.